this is Joanna welcome to my channel um, I post uh, beauty videos and hauls and DIYs and stuff like that and shopping and you know whatever we girls like well anyway um, and I post every Tuesday every Thursday and Saturdays are usually vlogs so uh, today's video is going to be um, a haul it's going to be of products I have purchased throughout the past two three months and there is uh, there I'm going to talk about makeup I'm looking down because I'm looking at them uh, they're going to be makeup brushes a few products from Too Faced, Estee Lauder, Clarins, there's something from Clinique products for the face, for the eyes they're just makeup because I also bought some skincare but I'm going to make a second video about the skincare because otherwise it's going to be like a gigantic video and nobody wants to watch me talking for 50,000 hours so yeah let's begin I have my notes here um, in my agenda so I will be looking at some of the things I've written just to let you know um, so let's start with uh, my makeup brushes so I bought a new foundation brush from Shiseido and um, this is what it looks like let me show you this is what it looks like um, it has bristles they're very soft very dense very very dense and um, I think they are they're synthetic it's not um, animal hair or something like that so it's a synthetic uh, brush let me just see if I have any other notes about this so yeah um, no um, I like this brush the lady at the Shiseido counter suggested I get it because I also bought a foundation which I'm going to show you in a bit because it's it applies uh, more evenly and better with this brush haven't used it yet because I wanted to do to make the video and didn't want it to look all dirty and I will let you know how it works in a different video I also wanted to get like um, one of those brushes what are they called they're called hang on let me take off my glasses they're called um, anyway I got the multi must-have powder shadow it's number 60 it is from Sephora I won't be able to open it right now to show you but it's for when you have like eyeshadow that has a lot of glitter on it so you don't get the glitter all over your face so it picks up more product it's more for the lid and I got that from Sephora and I also got a new um, a new powder brush from Clinique now this is hair pony pony hair or something like that and it looks really pretty and um, it's for the powder for powder big brush soft nice haven't used it again because I wanted to show it on the video so yeah I can't really give you a lot of information about the brushes what I can give you information about is this Shiseido uh, compact so this is the compact this is what it looks like and it has the little sponge which I haven't used yet and the compact the foundation is a powder foundation and you can um, you can use it with the sponge or the brush I bought the brush because it applies better with the brush and according to Shiseido and that's where I'm gonna talk about my notes so this is a powder smoothing compact um, foam and you can refill it for, it's not sorry not foam form um, it has SPF 16 but there's a broad spe spectrum and that means that it can like go stronger um, there's it's ultra fine powder foundation with micro this is what's on the website micro coating technology um, and it's got flexible smoothing powder to glide over the skin all skin textures and according this is the 
product the Skin Cancer Foundation recommends. When I when the lady at Shiseido applied it, um, I liked the way it looked on my skin. It gave a medium to full coverage, more closer to medium than full, and it lasted for a long time. This retails for $31, according to the internet. The other product I repurchased and I'm going to show you is my Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Concealer because I use this and I got a new one because I like it and it's, it, long, it lasts for a long time I set it with powder, it's what I'm wearing at the moment under my eyes and just to cover a few blemishes another repurchase is the Dior Skin Forever and Ever Control I like this powder it's a translucent powder. It comes with a little a little brush, which I never use because <laughs> I use a powder, a big fluffy powder brush. And mine has almost finished. So this is what it looks like. And you have to like turn it upside down, tap it on the brush, and then you just apply. It doesn't show up on the skin. I always wear this. And it's um, a really nice powder I really like this powder uh, what else did I get I got some products from Too Faced because Too Faced had uh, I'll show you what I got actually before I start bab babbling uh, Too Faced had Too Faced Too Faced had like Christmas I can't close this box Too Faced had Christmas um, goodies like little presents you could get and I got two but after the Christmas, because they were on sale, they were like, I don't know, 20% off. So I got the Let It Glow Christmas Kit and the Melted Kisses and Sweet Cheeks. So these two. Now what's in the Let It Glow? I'll tell you what it is. They're, what I like about this is that I'm going to be able to try different things and see if I like them. So we have the snow bunny bronzer i'll show you what it looks like now that oh that scared me a little bit the snow but the snow bunny um bronzer because i'll show you why the thing i don't like about these yeah that's something i can comment on is that they're hard to open so this is a snow bunny this is what the snow bunny looks like and when you just you know rub your hand in it you pick up different and this is what the this, this is what it would look like on your hand when you, you know, just brush your hand into it. And this is what it looks like on the skin. So it doesn't look that scary. Um, and I haven't used this yet. According to the lady at, the, at Sephora, she said that I should just wear this underneath um, on top of a, a blush. And, you know, just to highlight. I also, it also, this glow kit also has the, um, what's that called? Snow, no, rose glow. Rosy glow, which I'm never going to be able to open. And I don't know how to, how to edit, so this is going to be fun. Anyway, no, here it is. This is how this one opens. This is what I'm wearing at the moment. I have it on my cheeks. I don't know if you can see it. So this is, this is what snow glow looks like. Rosy glow, not snow glow. Rosy glow. Very fine little sheer shine. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll try to add a picture at the end. And it's a glowy, like even if I put it on my, tap it on my cheeks at the moment, you can see it does glow. So I like this. Not glittery. It's not glittery. It's just glowy. So yeah. I hope I don't look too glowy now, anyway. And there's also a blush in this called a Love Love Hangover. And I think this is like, um, this is the Love Hangover. This is what it looks like. Kind of powdery, don't know how I feel about that. And this is what it looks like when you swipe it on the hand. So yeah. Um, and it also came with this little, cute little brush, which I haven't used, but it looks cute, so what's not to like about that? Hang on, let me just clean my hands because they've got stuff on them. 
Um, what else? So that's what's in the love. Uh, that's what's in the Let It Glow kit. The other kit is Sweet Cheeks, and I got to try the Melted Kisses. Now, I got the Peony. What's it called? Peony. Um, Peony. That's what it's called. Now this. I don't know if I like it. Like, look what Peony looks like. And it's like, oh, there's some hair there. It's um, when I when I put it on, I didn't wear it properly, and I got it all over my lips. So you've got to be a bit careful. It feels buttery. It feels nice on the lips. Don't know if the color suits me. So that's my only um problem with me. It's like a pink um nude. So I don't know if I like that color. And it came with the. Too Faced Justify My Love uh, blush, which I will show you if I can ever open the package. Okay, here it is. And here I'm swiping this one. That's what it looks like. So this is Justify My Love, and this is Hangover, and this is Peony, the melted lipstick. Um, and so that's what I got from the Too Faced, and I wanted to, you know, one of my favorite contour palettes is the Cocoa Contour from Too Faced, but it's almost finishing, the, what I use has almost finished, so I wanted to get the Medium Cocoa again, and I went to Sephora and asked the lady if they sold them, sold them separately, but she said no. And then she suggested I try the um, Chocolate Soleil um, Medium Chocolate, which looks dark. <laughs> she put it on my skin. It wasn't that bad, so that's why I ended up buying it. It doesn't turn out orange on the skin. It's more like a brownie pinky grayish it's a cool tone and I just swiped it on my hand this is it so this is the bronzer I'll try to contour I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this as a contour or if I'm gonna go and repurchase my cocoa contour but yeah this is as close as it gets um so that's what else I got from Too Faced now from I also wanted to try, you know those, everyone's raving about them on the YouTube, so I wanted to try the Clarins, uh Instant Light uh, Lip Perfector, and I got mine in a corally peach colour. I like this. I put it on my, it's the 05, I put it on my lips, and it felt like a lip balm. I really like it, but I think it's like, I already have a dupe for this. Uh, I would say that number seven, the BB, BB Lips, which I got a sample, has the same feeling on the lips. This one feels a bit more um, moisturizing, but they do feel the same. So if you're in, UK, in the UK, you should check these out as well, because I like this. Um, and it, it, I wore it, I drank coffee, and then it vanished. So I wouldn't say it's long-lasting, but it feels moisturizing. So I'm really happy with this. And 05 looks like this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I'll just swipe it. Not swipe it, swatch it. So this is, yeah, this is what it looks like. Swatched on the hand, swatched. So yeah, that's, that's number 05, corally pink. And it feels moisturizing. So you should check these out. Like, especially now in Greece with the sales and stuff, it was, I don't know. 12 euro or something like that so that was fine and I put I bought one more chubby stick because I love the chubby stick uh, eyeshadows and I got the brown which is called what is it called it is called fuller fudge and this is what it looks like and that's a swatch nice deep brown it's a little bit shiny, not too shiny, but it is shiny, it's not matte. And yeah, I like that. And, hang on. <laughs> okay, uh, what else did I get? Um, 
Finally, yeah, there's nothing else here. Last product I got, which I really liked, is from Chanel, a stylo. So again, an eye crayon. I use lots of eye crayons and I've made a video with all my eye crayons. So I'll link that down below or at the end of this video so you can check it out. And this is a stylo eyeshadow in very, no, ver, vert grease. I don't speak French. It's 197. It's um, a green silvery color. This is it. And I wore it on my eyes yesterday, but not too much. Like I, I just used a little bit so it wasn't bam in your face. And it lasted all day. I'll link the vlog down below where I try this product so you can check it out and see how long lasting it is. I wore it for like eight hours and it looked fine. So yeah, that's my beauty haul. And I'll let you know about how these products work out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in my skincare uh, haul. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm trying to build my channel and I want to see what kind of videos you like. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you didn't enjoy it, don't give it a thumbs down. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.